Hello and welcome to another hair tutorial. This one's a little bit special because we're at the ocean. We're at Malulaba on the Sunshine Coast. For cute beach looks, it's best to have your hair up because it can get pretty windy. This hairdo is kind of vintagey and has lots and lots of rolls. So let's get started. This view is a pretty good change, right? <laughs> Pin back your fringe if you have one and grab a small section of hair from the top of your head. Brush the hair straight upwards and using a teasing comb, tease the back side of it. The teasing is really important, otherwise the rolls will separate when you try to put them up. So with this section of hair, roll it backwards until it forms a loop. You can tuck the ends inside and then pin it to your scalp. You should have something along these lines. Now for the hairspray! <laughs> this style uses a lot of hairspray. I have a little mini hairspray that I like to take with me on travels. It's pretty tiny, but it packs a punch! Next. Grab a piece of hair to the side of the first roll. Pull it outwards and then tease the back of it again. Twist it about halfway down and then fold it backwards so it also forms a loop. This time just leave the ends hanging down the back of your head and pin it in place. So now you've got one middle loop and one side loop. Now repeat on the other side in the other direction. Pull it up, tease, twist a little bit and then fold into a loop. Pin it in place and then add some hairspray. You can never have too much hairspray, especially at the beach. <laughs> okay, next step. Grab the rest of the hair at the side making sure that you don't have the tails of the other loops that you already made. Tease it. Twist it. And form another loop beneath the other ones. You should get something like this and then pin it in place. Once this style's done, it's not going anywhere no matter how windy it is. <laughs> or whether it decides to rain on your holiday, which is very typical of our holidays. On the other side, do the same thing again. Tease, twist, loop, and pin underneath the other loops. And from the back you've got this. So let's do the back. Grab a section at the top, include the ends of the top two loops as well. Pull it upwards, tease, and then roll it forwards to form a loop. Make sure you poke the tails of this one in. Roll it so it's just behind the first loop that you did and then pin it in place. Now separate the remaining hair into two sections and roll upwards. Pin those in place as well. You can do more loops here if you'd like, but I was kind of in a hurry, so this was as far as I got. 
You can see the back doesn't look that great, but I didn't have a mirror. I was kind of working off the shiny reflection of the glass table in front of me, so this was as good as it got. Now you just need to decide what you want to do with your fringe. You could tease it and pin it back in a quiff. You could roll it, or you could push it off to the side. Or just curl it like I did. The next thing you need is a scarf. I thought this nautical one was pretty cute. Now tie it loosely around all of the rolls. You don't want to do it too tightly otherwise it won't stay on later while you're at the beach. A cute tropical flower to match my swimsuit and we're done! Except for my hairspray. You could always use my hairspray. <laughs> Ta-da! Now that's a hairstyle that's not going anywhere no matter how windy it is. We went down to the beach to enjoy the rock pools at low tide. It was really cool. It looks so cute and sunny here, but it was actually storming and raining for most of this. <laughs> you can see here when I actually had a mirror, I fixed the back of my hair up again. <laughs> and added a couple more rolls. I hope you guys enjoyed my holiday tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!